Welcome to the Beginner's Guide for Manual Controls in iPhone Photography. Today we're going to be taking a closer look at the fourth video in the series, Shutter Speed. Let's first review how exposure works. It's the simple process of letting light through the lens onto the sensor. For every photograph you ever take, there are three factors that determine exposure. Aperture, shutter speed, and ISO. Aperture is the intensity of light hitting the sensor. And on the iPhone, the aperture is fixed at f1.8. Shutter speed is the duration of light hitting the sensor. And on the iPhone, the default shutter speed range is 1 8,000th of a second to 1 3rd of a second. Slow shutter speeds blur motion while fast shutter speeds freeze motion. ISO is the sensitivity of the sensor to light. And once again, on the iPhone 6S, the default ISO range is ISO 2000 all the way down to ISO 25. Low ISOs create low noise. High ISOs create high noise. The default app doesn't display live exposure data, so you're gonna to need to use a third-party app like Camera Plus. Camera Plus will allow you to accurately see specific shutter speed and ISO combinations. It's important to understand how the iPhone in auto mode actually handles shutter speed and ISO. As a matter of fact, they're baked together. The camera defaults to the lowest practical possible ISO and the highest practical shutter speed for any given situation. As you need more light, the ISO remains practically slow and the shutter speed gets slower. Once the shutter speed goes all the way down to what is practical for getting a crisp photograph, the ISO increases all the way to ISO 2000. What is super cool about Camera Plus is the innovative slow shutter speeds. When you're shooting in manual mode, you can now have shutter speeds as long as 30 seconds. So now, using Camera Plus, you'll finally be able to take those dreamy, creamy, slow shutter speed shots like the samples you're seeing. We're here at Pertinelli State Park right outside the great city of Austin, and I'm gonna show you how to use the extended shutter speed ranges on Camera Plus. Now, Camera Plus app is open, and you can see from right here, the live exposure data is 1 30th of a second at ISO 32. Why? Because on the native app, it defaults to the lowest possible ISO and the highest possible shutter speed. So again, if we just shoot this in auto, which we're gonna do right now, we're shooting at 1 30th of a second at ISO 32. But that's not the sh that's not gonna be a long enough shutter for us to get those dreamy, creamy, smooth, mellowy shots that you see in magazines. So how do we do that using the extended range in Camera Plus? Simple. We tap right there. Now we're in shutter priority. We only see the, um, we only see the sh shutter speed options. So right now it's on 1 30th of a second. I'm literally just going to dial. This is the exact same workflow that I use uh, in the normal shutter speed range. So I've dialed it all the way down to 30th of a second. Now I'm gonna hit my shutter and it's gonna count down right here. Three, four, five, all the way to 30. Now look at this preview right here. Oh my goodness, that is gorgeous. It's a live preview. So what you see is exactly what you're going to get in Camera Plus. Looks pretty fantastic, no doubt about it. To get the most out of your slow shutter photography, a tripod is an essential tool to prevent blurry photos. Here are several tripods that I use that work marvelously. 
steady as she goes. You'll find endless subjects for slow shutter photography. Now it's your turn. Show us what you get.